Hey everyone, good morning. It is Friday and I am coming out this morning after oh, we've had so much rain the last couple days over three plus inches um, and pretty bad storm. So I'm just taking a walk through because I had to go out today and making sure everything is still okay. Um, we had to shore some plants up yesterday and um, we uh, you know, hoped that everything will be okay. Uh, these are some seven pot lava chocolates as you can see um, <clears throat> brain strains those got some really beautiful ones on here especially the chocolates over here uh, I don't know if you can see in here or not but look at some of these pods yeah, they're the I'm just hoping this rain does not hurt things in the uh, long term. Some um, seven pot gigantic mustards and definitely living up to their names. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's just, oh wow, it's been so much rain. And we've been trying to wean off not having as much water on the plants and it was seemed like it was helping them. There are some uh, seven pot Katie's here. And then amnesias, these things have just taken off crazy though. This thing is full, 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 full of pods. And if anyone saw, we put out three boxes last, uh, uh in the midweek. And a whole bunch more of amnesias. Um, and we should be getting pretty much on a regular schedule now of boxes as things are ripening up pretty decently now. Oh, excuse me. It's soaking wet out here. Oh, look, we got mushrooms, too. <laughs> Don't think we want to eat those. But I guess it means the soil is doing good. And uh, there's a couple that are ripening up. But yeah. Happy about that. Let's see. Uh, hoping no branches. We did have a couple breakages yesterday. And, um... These are BMMs and such. Rainbow, Bolivian rainbow is very, very pretty. Still waiting for, see how everything's going to turn out on it. So I know it's only an ornamental, but still very pretty. And then we got some uh, BOC Primo oranges here. Everything's just droopy right now, but wow. These are some really beautiful pods. And uh, this one over here, um, this is one of our um, Akidomas, and we ended up losing a whole top off the one. And then it, the, this one actually bent over like almost in half, but it still seems like it's okay now. And this is a Ahi Merchant and Marguerite. Tino, something like that. <clears throat> um, I'm not seeing anything flat out. You know, now there's a couple here. These younger, younger ones are not doing well at all. The rain's really taking the toll on them. <clears throat> and let's go on here. <clears throat> the daddles are looking pretty decent. And um, we have uh, lots of, of uh, dragon's breath here. You can see these are all loaded with pods. Oops, <laughs> lost the thing here. So I'm just really hoping that the, the rain doesn't take its toll on these. <clears throat> We've had some where they just suddenly just go completely limp and never come back. Ah, uh, yeah, beautiful dragon's uh, devil's tongue. We, we should have yellow, red, and white varieties this year. So <clears throat> excited to see what the white's gonna look like. Um, this is a uh, fireball red, and uh, it has pods on it. It produced a couple last year, but not too many this year. It seems like to be doing a lot better. Um, I know. This, um, Batali is looking awesome. 
got some really nice looking pods on it. It's a little droopy right now from all the being soaking wet. And uh, then we have this is a erotic orange, so it's kind of the other end of the uh, the Peter Pepper. So we'll see how that turns out. Again, here's all the dragon's breath. And let's see how these guys are doing over here. We brought out, actually, just the day and a half ago, we brought out a whole bunch um, more babies from the greenhouse. And they are, see some of these here. Hopefully they'll be okay. Just it's not easy dragging these containers around there. They're very heavy. Uh, we got some orange ghost bubble gum. <clears throat> and got quite a few purple ghosts that are all ready to go. And some white ghosts. I'd like to see them get a little bit bigger though. We're putting in new sprinklers. Um, we have a whole irrigation system, but it's just not working the way we want it to. So we are actually adding uh, risers on them and different heads and playing around with how we're gonna do that the best. We also got some misting heads for the garden so that during the day we don't have to run the sprinklers uh, or the irrigation. We can just um, put the misting on. That way it just gives them a little bit of a cooling off because sometimes it gets just really, really hot out here. Um, Hawaiian plant, getting some pies out of this and we're getting very close to that. Even on one of the plants over there, we ended up hitting the top off because it was too tall. So we might have to move that out into the sunnier area. Um, lots of habs along here. We picked quite a few. Oh, everything is just so wet. Um, our jays, peach and red ghost scorpions are doing pretty well here. Now this is from a different plant than we took those ones to show with. These are a little bit more elongated, whereas these are the ones like we got for the show. As you can see they are a little bit different shape. But we got some more that are ready to go into the next boxes. <clears throat> we go along here. Lots and lots of jigsaws. Uh, some of them are doing great with being right on pheno type um, and others are not so we're just this year will be a, a good test like these these look great for chocolate um, jigsaws um, but some of the rounder ones are not as nice so we'll probably nix those plants for next year like these even though they are hot and they taste just like jigsaws they're just not the right shape and we're trying to get them better you can see all these are really good uh, this is some more. Um, I am excited for the variegated. We do have a few more of, the, of these to bring out that are in the greenhouse right now. These are all new ones that we just brought out. And uh, as you can see they are, I don't think they're real happy about all this water. Um, our BBG7 um, reds and oranges. Uh, these are really nice. Well, I was hoping to have some of these for the show, but it didn't work out because they weren't ready yet. But they're starting to yeah, we're ready now. These suckers are very, very hot. <clears throat> Whoa. Let's see here. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Orions. All of our, you see we have some newer plants. And then we have all of our original plants, which are, is like, uh, I believe eight plants here or nine plants total. Uh, these are finally... Uh, getting me some nice size pods on them. Uh, we have one newer plant that has huge pods on it. So I'm hoping that these will go the same way. Uh, I can get through here without getting completely soaked. Whoa, you can see all these under here. Cold, cold. Okay, yeah, this is the one that's pretty cool there. And then we got, this is an Orion cross. I got the seed from, something I got from Uncle Bull Cow. So, curious what these are gonna turn out like. They're pretty cool. And then we have some special plants here, which we won't talk about. And then, oh, our Peter Peppers. 
Uh, I did knock one off yesterday, uh, like two days ago, and I was very depressed because I wanted to see it completely ripen up. And there's some more on here, like that one. <laughs> and that's the other way to leave. <laughs> so they're going to be funny. Don't know what they taste like, but we'll see, won't we? <clears throat> um, we got these are all primatales from from here all the way up and so they're all young but we're expecting to have lots of primatales both chocolate golden and red as you can see some of the reds are ripening up now uh, my, this is one of my plant my chalk nagla plant that we lost the whole top off of because of the wind and look at all those pods that are now not going to be going anywhere. So we're going to have to move this out. As you can see, it's right up against it. And some of these branches are just so heavy that it takes a lot out of them. Our KSLS is here. And peach. Our tomatoes are just on steroids. It's crazy. I cannot believe how big these suckers are getting. And oh, the tomatoes on here. Oh. God, God, everywhere there's like tall, I mean these things are seven plus foot high. I really need, I got a wire going across, I'm going to trellis them the best I can uh, because these, these cages aren't even big enough for them. And, uh, <clears throat> but plan on making lots of cool things with the tomatoes this year. Uh, we got our, one of our old pump, pumpkin bead BBGs and purple death here. Purple Death didn't produce anything last year, but this year at least does have some pods on it. And they look pretty cool. Pretty gnarly looking. <clears throat> we have, uh, like I said, some of these primatales now are ripening up. So they will be in some of the upcoming boxes. Um, we got our old yellow reaper plant and red reaper. So the red reaper is on the one side, the yellow is on the other. Uh, the red's putting out some very tiny pods, but they are very, very cool looking. Uh, very gnarly looking. So, that one right there. Just want them to get a little bigger, but they are beautiful pods. Let's get back down this way. <clears throat> we had, uh, speaking of what happened with one plant, and we still don't know what causes this, but we had this red reaper here and it just suddenly went completely limp and never bounced back you know um, we've done it it's happened to another plant actually a total of maybe i think four this whole season and we replanted them and one we're still waiting to see if any leaves come out on it and the same with this one we're hoping that because it's still alive definitely still alive but we're not sure what to do with it to see whether we can salvage it or not but it's very depressing and then we got some more reapers here. <clears throat> um, go into our mustard reapers over here. Uh, these things are really, really big too. And kind of almost had something like that happen to one of these, but it did seem to bounce back. It was limp. It's, it's just still a couple areas here. If you can see up top here, the leaves are kind of funky. Uh, but the whole, whole entire one of the plants, because there's actually uh, two plants in that whole box, and one went completely limp. And it was like that for probably about almost a week, but it is actually bouncing back some. So I guess there's always hope. <clears throat> um, this one here, okay, here's another situation here. Two plants in the same box. Look at this. No idea what caused this. And I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know, if anybody has some suggestions on what to do, we've got some nice, really big pods in here. And they're, um, uh, white reapers and <clears throat> then we have our caramel reapers which are of course looking gorgeous as normal I think caramel is one of my favorite colors because it's such a, it's a pretty pretty color and then we have our <clears throat> apocalypse chocolate and this is doing pretty well at least this time this this part of the year it's producing some nice pods and we'll see because this one that might be another one that we might nix for next year we will, we will see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, to go on here, we've got our uh, Sergeant Pepper. I'm not sure what that's going to look like, but our uh, Peach Sugar Rush and 
red stripies. Here are some California scorpions. <coughs> These are the uh, sugar rush stripies. So we got a lot of those coming in. Can't wait for them to ripen up. This is a beautiful one too. This is a tangerine TS. And uh, it's got some really nice, nice pods on it. <coughs> but uh, uh, then we got, let's see here, we got our red Maruga monsters. They're coming along. And then we got an orange scorpion. And uh, oh, there's one of our assassin bugs right there. <coughs> oh, there's one that's ripe. These are all orange. Then we have our peach marugas here. And they're all... This is the one of the plants from last year that was just out of control large and then got hit by white flies, so we had to cut it way back. But it is coming back, so we're happy. <clears throat> Over here, uh, these these are the Thunder uh, Cassia Browns. And uh, these we tied these up as best we could. We've got to get a whole cage around these. But cutting all the wood to make the cages does take time. So we are looking forward to seeing what they're like. And then over here we got our yellow marugas. Uh, and there's little lots on here. Let's see how we do here. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to believe that, I don't know, maybe six, seven years ago I had the blackest thumb ever. And thankfully I found something that will grow for me. <clears throat> that is um, an older plant. It's on its third third year. It's actually a white ghost dougly yellow, but last year it put off some really yucky pods towards the end. So we kind of kept it out of the garden for now and decide later whether we're going to. So um, let's see, white moruga there. We got our yellow fever. Some of them are starting to turn. Uh, there's lots on here. So we will be very soon putting out boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. We got our scotch bonnets here and some more yellow fevers, yellow tigers, um, and a couple of our mystery plants that we don't know what they are. Um, as for the regular garden, you can see my big cucumber there, uh, lots of eggplants, everything else is doing good here. Uh, so, well, I hope everyone has a great week. Um, I will do another video probably on the weekend um, after we uh, or when we get ready to pick stuff. So enjoy and stay spicy.